You see, when the Reserve Bank is changing monetary policy in order to influence inflation, they know they can't really have much impact on inflation in the next 12 months. What they're aiming at is price changes, inflation, about one and a half years from now, some 18 months. Well, hello again, uh, everybody. Last week, the Reserve Bank did as most people expected and increased its official cash rate 0.25%. So it now sits at 1%. I thought maybe they might try and hurry things along a little bit and increase by half a percent, but you know, whatever. We've still got interest rates at very stimulatory levels, uh, as it were, basically helping to drive extra spending uh, in the economy. And it's certainly reasonable to expect that the Reserve Bank will increase interest rates probably every time they review them, every six to eight weeks uh, this year, to the point where their official cash rate is about 2% higher than it is at the moment. That means you should anticipate that floating mortgage rates will end up about 2% above where they are at the moment. One year fixed interest rates maybe 1.8% or so higher than they are, maybe something around about 6% or even slightly uh, higher than that. Now, there's something that's going to come along, I guess, uh, uh, throughout this year that the Reserve Bank will want to see, and that is scary stories about where interest rates might go, about what the impact on the economy will be. Now, you're probably not going to hear such stories from me. I've been around long enough to know how this goes, and one of the extra monetary policy weapons the Reserve Bank has, on top of simply raising interest rates, is scaring the bejeebas out of people so that consumers, you and I, will pull back on our spending more than, say, the increase in interest rates would suggest, and businesses in particular will think twice about increasing their prices because they'll be thinking, well, consumers are already fairly scared out there and wary of uh, their levels of spending. Now, I don't believe the Reserve Bank is going to have to throw the economy into recession in order to get inflation back under control, even though that actually is what they had to do in 2008. It's certainly true that a lot of the factors that are driving inflation in New Zealand at the moment are transitory, temporary. They will fade away again, but probably not so much this year. It's more a story of next year. Now that is actually very important. You see, when the Reserve Bank is changing monetary policy in order to influence inflation, they know they can't really have much impact on inflation in the next 12 months. What they're aiming at is price changes, inflation, about one and a half years from now, some 18 months. And so they'll be thinking about their actions now and what they will be causing to happen with inflation in our economy in the middle and the second half of 2023, when we expect oil prices are probably going to be pulling back a bit, when the supply chain disruptions will be significantly uh, improved from what we see at the moment, when the house price momentum, well, it's already backwards at the moment, but we'll probably, I think, see a heck of a lot less uh, cost pressure running through the uh, construction uh, sector and a whole lot of things basically with slower growth in the economy suggesting that this year is going to be a story of inflation worries, scary stories and you know, high inflation probably getting to about 6.5% when we get some numbers in a couple of months time. But next year is really where us economists are looking at and I can look at my surveys and already see that some things are moving in the right direction for the Reserve Bank. So look, the main point I wanted to get across today is you will see some scary stories about uh, interest rates going to high levels uh, later this year and potentially big falls in, in house prices when really what's going on is simply that house prices are pulling back from completely unsustainable levels driven by a, a feeding frenzy from the middle of uh, 2020 and the interest rates they're going to go higher and maybe they peak in about two years time and we'll see what happens after that. All the best, enjoy the rest of your week.